Right, here we go with the little tasting session. Some of the things we've got here are Scottish. So we'll start off with the local things. And first of all, we have tea, which is called Scottish Blend. Specially blended for Scottish water, because we have nice, soft water. clean, soft water. And uh, it makes a lovely cup of tea. So, we have a cup of tea. And we have our favourite biscuits. Well, my favourite is actually shortbread. That's my second favourite. <laughs> this is called a ginger nut. Sometimes uh, here we call them ginger snaps. These are actually Morrison's own brand, Morrison's supermarket own brand. And they're not as good as uh, McVitie's or even Tesco's own brand, the better. And the best thing to do is to dunk them in your tea. Not too long or the biscuit collapses. Mmm. Yeah. When you get nice ginger flavor. Nice. I would recommend that to anybody, especially if you like ginger. Right. Continuing with the sweet things. Let's try the shortbread. What's so do this? you want to tell the viewers where Dean's factory is? This is made in a factory quite close to here in a town called Huntley. And it's Dean's shortbread. What does it say on the packet? Melt in the mouth. Baked by hand. Dean's original family recipes. Light and crumbly. Mm. Shortbread sometimes mm. is harder than this. This is the nicest, by far the nicest. Well, we actually prefer this to what most people know. Um, what, what's it called? W Walkers. Walkers. Walkers and Pattersons are known internationally. And in Taiwan, you can even find walkers in the supermarkets. But this is a hundred times better. Again, we can dunk it. If you want. You don't have to, but we like it. Mmm. Mm, it's so soft. It really is light. And it really is crumbly. <laughs> and you can taste the butter. So if you're vegan, this is out. But worth the try, definitely. Mm. Now, The next one, the last sweet thing, is um, a snowball. In this case, mini snowballs. When I was a kid, we used to buy these. Um, they weren't mini. Oh, how do you open it? Oh, here it is. Okay, well.
and got. I've never had these before. Now, the mini snowball looks tiny. What we had when I was a kid was about four times this size. And it was a real treat. We didn't have them every day. Don't, Feels soft. Yeah, don't dunk it. Just right. bite it. There's a sort of a soft mallow inside, covered in chocolate, and then covered in coconut. Very coconutty. Hmm. Mmm, it's as nice as I remember. It's not too sweet, but it is sweet enough, mm. I think. You do need a cup of tea to go with it. Mmm, I recommend these. And what's this? 18 mini snowballs. I think it was only... It was a special offer. Was it a pound? Two pounds. pounds? God, I'm so full. How many more are we trying? 16 more. God. <laughs> right. That's all the three things. That's all the sweet things. The other three things are savoury plus a beer. I need that tea. Right. Let's pour out this beer so we can eat the savoury things. It's from a brewery called um, Brewdog and it's actually local um, from Aberdeenshire. Mm. You may have seen these beers <coughs> because they are uh, sold internationally. Brew dog and they've got different kinds. This one is called Nanny State because it's alcohol free. So it's it's good. The good thing is it's alcohol free but it tastes of hops. Xiaomi always says it's like hop juice. Hop juice. Why do you always tip the glass 45 degrees angle? To pour the beer down the side so it doesn't get too frothy. Have you never seen they do that in the pub? Cheers. See how frothy it gets if you don't tip the glass. Right. Cheers. Brewdog, Nanny State. Hop juice. It actually tastes like really strong beer, but it's not strong at all. There's no alcohol. Aha! This is a local company in Aberdeenshire again. Mackey's. And the flavour is flame grilled Aberdeen Angus flavour. So, um, in Aberdeenshire, uh, beef is quite famous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Aberdeen Angus beef, and there are cattle, cows, in almost every field. And if there are no cows in the field, there are sheep. But this is Aberdeen Angus flame grilled. Now, normally we call these crisps but I think they're trying to be American and they call them potato chips <gasps> no 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 oh potato crisps yes oh use the British word crisps don't say crisps is crisps <laughs> <laughs> oh that used to annoy me students going crisps oh, let's see do they taste like Aberdeen Angus Flame grilled Aberdeen Angus. It 
It's a very pleasant flavor. It doesn't actually remind me of having a big fat juicy steak, but it is a really, really nice flavor taste. Hmm. Ingredients, potatoes, high oleic sunflower oil, <coughs> flame grilled Aberdeen Angus seasoning, seasoning, which is vegetarian, yeast extract powder, onion, maltodextrin, salt, onion powder, sugar, lactose, tomato powder, dextrose, natural flavorings, acid, citric acid, caramelized sugar powder. Oh, uh, beef powder, so Aberdeen Angus beef powder. There is beef in the crisps. This company, by the way, of Mackey's, they also do ice cream really unusual flavors of ice cream. I, have we seen them elsewhere or only locally? Um, Did we see them in Taiwan once? Well, not us, but, but you can find Mackey's just dairy ice cream uh, in Costco in Taiwan. Okay. And the potato crisps, they also do haggis and cracked pepper flavor. Oh, I like these. Save some room. Mm. <clears throat> right, which one are we going to try next? Potato sticks or cheese tasters? I don't mind. These two aren't necessarily local. We bought these in Marks and Spencer's the other day. So they're not just any cheese tasters. They are Mars and Spencer's tasters. They look, yes. They look like, because they're Marks and Spencer, they've got a special name. But they look like um, something called Cheesy Watsits. Very light, fluffy, cheesy. Cheesy and sweet, not so savory. Mmm. I wish you could taste these now. The texture is so nice. Goes well with your hop juice. I want another one. Right. Last. And the last one, not potato crisp, but potato sticks. You took some of these to Taiwan for your nephews. A few years ago, yes. Did they like them? They never said. Mmm. Now look at this. They're like mini chips. Like mini french fries, but cold and hard. Crunchy. Doesn't taste of anything after the cheese taste. Eh? <laughs> you can get salt and vinegar flavour. They're nice. But they're very Moorish. Potatoes, sunflower oil, and salt. And salt. That's all. These are also very Moorish. <laughs> I'm so full. We don't need lunch after this, do we? Right. 
That was our little taster session. What was the best for you? Um, shortbread. That's my all-time favourite biscuit in the whole universe. And you? Um, well, I'm biased because the shortbread is something that I'm used to having. Um, but today, I particularly enjoyed the cheesy tasters. Right. Because I haven't had them for years. I remember having those when I was little, so I'm quite sure they can still get things like that in Taiwan. Well, cheesy what's it? Mm. What did you think of the flame grilled Aberdeen Angus potato crisps? It's nice, it's nice. It's quite good, but um, I couldn't eat these every day. I, I could eat a packet of um, ready salted, just standard crisps mm. every day. <clears throat> and we have been known to eat a packet of Dean's shortbread in one session. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, the snowballs, they were a nice surprise because I, I remember liking them as a child a long time ago. And I thought perhaps they would be too sweet. But that was a nice surprise. I don't think I could eat a lot of them. No. But nice. And the Scottish blend tea, we have that every day. Several cups a day. So that's it. Why not leave a comment? Tell us what you think. Tell us if you've tried any of these. If you get any of these, can you find them in the supermarkets where you live? And have you tried them? The best place for you to try in Taiwan is to, to, to go down to your local Costco, okay? And see if you can find any of these products there. And send us a little message telling us what you think. All right, I think that's it. Slangeva, whatever the word is. Slang Slang it's two words. Slangeva. Slangeva. Cheers. <laughs>